Oh, hey there. You guys just tuned into a, a quick hick meal with the boys. And today, we're going to teach you how to make steak, got it from a cow shirley this morning. Some potatoes, got it from the fucking garden this morning. We got our homemade rub, got that from the garden this morning. And a barbecue sauce, sold from my grandmother this morning, babe. And uh, Big Bad Josh going to teach you how to make some easy peas. It's great. So first of all, we're uh, going to take our steak over to our cutting board here. And now, you want the flavors to absorb into the steak. You want it to be fucking beautiful, by. So you want to take your first steak here, you want to give her a couple slaps, tell her you love her, hey baby, you're going to taste great today. Yeah, okay, let's go. You want to take a couple slices down the middle here, just to absorb that beautiful, beautiful flavors, just like that. He's been marinating for the last 24 hours in my fridge. Got it right from the grocery store, by. Anyway, so you want to cut that here. Little cuts down the sides. Just get her nice and open there, just like you like her, nice and loose. That's how everybody likes it. I think so. I'm just going to grab your next one and do the same thing. Just repeat, 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 repeat. Let's go to it. All right, here we go. Oh, perfect slices. Perfect. These are the best knives I got. Stolen from your mother. Cut down the sides there, just like this, just like this. Yep. Yeah. Now you got beautiful steaks. Beautiful steaks. Oh, yes. I've been raising that cow forever. Just cut it down the middle there, just like that, just like that. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Thick cuts. Nice, thick cuts on the edge side, just like the guy at Subway does. Oh, yeah. So you want to take this one. This is tribute to Dylan McNeil, by the way. He, he inspires me since the day I was born. Since 98, he's been my favorite chef. And one day, I just want to be able to cook with him in his kitchen. Oh, man. I love that guy. Inspired me my whole life. I was into drugs real hard, you know. Selling cigarette cigarettes out the toll booth, you know, to get into Cape Breton, you know. Fucking hands of Causeway, the cobble. You know. And then one day just decided to get off the drugs and single cigarettes and start my own cooking show. And he inspired me. So now what we gotta do. Now these are all nice and cut. You know, they're great. Like look at that meat. Look at that meat right there. Beautiful. You want to take your barbecue sauce now. Now, this is the technique. You want to take it, and you got to be very precision with this, and you just want to drop it. You want to take it, and then you want to flip it over to the other side. And just, oh, yes, just fucking, oh, baby, oh, my God, like, oh, my pants are tight right now. And you just want to take it over here, put it on the board right there, make sure you get them all. Just get it all in there, soak up that barbecue sauce. Just pretend it's your mother, and you're just trying to get everything out of her. Just like my doors. Alright, you gotta get them like this. Oh, yes. Mmm. Damn, that McNeil guy would be so proud of me right now. Holy shit, he makes my pants tight. Him in his orange under armor hat. Oh, buddy. Ooh. Just gotta get this one in there. Last one like that right there. Mmm, yes. You just wanna get all that nice, juicy flavors in there. So now, you wanna, you know, take your fingers and look, look at them a couple times, you know, get the cinnamon out on you. Let's go to your heart. You wanna take the steak? Oh, wait. Better clean this out. Better go to my sink here. This is my professional sink. We got it back in 98. Just stopped using buckets. No, just. This is uh, Shirley. This is Shirley right here. Got it this morning. Just gotta, you know, wipe this off. Don't get any blood on you. You know, we don't want that fucking salmonella shit. That fucking stuff kills you. Just wanna give her a quick wipe here, just like this, right? You know, wash her around a little bit like that. You know, give her a couple love taps. Yeah. Just wanna take her over here, give her a couple drops. Come over to your towel right here, just like this, you know, just give her a couple wipe downs, you know. Just like when you have your wife, you gotta give her a couple wipe downs after you're done with her. If not, she stays dirty, and you don't want a dirty bitch. So we take her back over here. Drop that just like that. You wanna, like, couple slaps of the hands, a couple drives on the shirt. Take it over here, and just beautifully, beautifully, gently put it in your rub. And it just, oh, look at that. Ain't that just beautiful? And the barbecue sauce just absorbs it. Oh, we want to put her on her side. You just want to lay her gently in there. You want to put her gently back to bed, just like the girl that took home from the bar last night. Want to give her a little rub on here, a little rub and tub. You know what I'm saying? 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 Mm. J Rock, baby. J Rock, baby. Bam, bam. Yeah. Oh, just like that. For this segment, we ran out of some rub, so we're going to have to probably make some more rub for you here, because, you know, we got nothing to do. So, we're going to wash my hands again for the second time. Come over here with this back to my fancy sink. Wash. No, we don't need soap. Soap's just for fucking pansies. Five minutes left, okay. So, uh, yeah. Once we make this, we'll get back to you. Alright, so you want a little bit of tally. 
great value, you know. Got it from Walmart on sale this week. Advise you to go get some. Put a bunch in there like that, you know. The portion size doesn't really matter. It depends on how fucking much you want. Just like you gotta go to a fat girl at the bar. You gotta depend on how much you want. And if you want a lot, you gotta get a fat chick. If you don't want, you gotta get one of those skinny little bitches got no teeth. And then so you go over here. You know, it's... Um, oh, got a text message like that, you know. Go to my pants cover like this, you know. And, you know, that's uh, my foot phone there. It's got that 98. Still going strong. Well, we got none of that left, so... Looks like we're gonna have to do how we do. Go here to the rub, just rub her in there, just like that. Oh, yep, yeah, she's nice, she's nice, she's nice, 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 nice. Beautiful, beautiful steaks, beautiful steaks. So glad my grandmother got me from Shirley. Just gotta rub her around, get all the juices, all the juices. Don't even be fronting. Look at that, just beautiful technique. Just beautiful technique. You know, since this one got a lot more, you need to have a little fucking intercourse here and share some, because, you know, you don't want no fucking greedy motherfuckers. Get on there like that. Oh, and give her a couple little doggy style, just like that, you know. That's how we all love her. Like that. Just flip her over there. Give her a couple little dry humps. That's how we like them. Put this over here like that. And uh, we'll come back to you after, uh, we just, and next thing you know, we'll be cutting some potatoes. Yep. Well, well, he's getting ready for potatoes. I'm going to show you how to do the peas. Well, I picked these peas fresh out of the garden this morning. Yep. Every single one of them. Look how thick that is. BAM! It's a lot. Okay, well, I'm going to show you what to do. I only got one hand right now, but... Just feed them. Never mind. I got two hands. So you take this. BAM! Top full of whatever this is. Some kind of oil. Extra virgin olive oil. That guy. Got that from the guy. throw that on there. Squeeze it right on my grandmother. Got the Goodyear hat on, because you know we're Goodyear. We're Hicks. We like to go mud riding and drive big trucks. I love driving big trucks. I love big women, but I don't talk about big women. Just love the big saggy rolls. Put some vinegar in those peas right there. Yeah, you got that. Yeah. Back up. Oh, that's my freshly picked corn. And you, oh, you pepper the shit out of this. Lost oh. pepper, lost pepper. Keep you away from the doctor. Same with sex. No more prostates after this pepper. No more fingers up your butt and flicking on the ball sack. All that good stuff that we know we all love. But I, I don't go to Sobeys for my food. I pick it straight from the gar garbage. Or our grandmothers. Or the garbage. I love the garbage. They got good stuff in there. And you just mix it around. Just like that. Just a little hard and soft. And there's so many little balls around here. But yeah, that's how you make easy peas. And if you want corn, you pick it and put it in this can of... Put it in this can of stuff. And put how many you got and what you need. And then, uh... Yeah, yeah. It's easier as I can. And that's how I do. And now, we're back to potatoes. Alright, so, um, we made our, um, beautiful, uh, beautiful, um, steaks. Yep, that's what we made. So we got a dirty old top board here. You know what we do? You know, we come over here to your sink like this, right? Say hi to Shirley, because you know she's a favorite. Wipe it down like this with your hands, because you know you want salmonella all over you. It's all good, you know. Keeps you going strong, you know. Oh, it's E. coli. And that good all that good bacteria stuff, you know, and you just go like this, and instead of drying her off, all you gotta do is turn it to the other side, because you know, that's how good we are. Got the dirty bowl here, just fucking put that in the sink, and, you know, take your, uh, come up here like this, and you take your potatoes here, and you just want to take her on the cutting board, and those are clean, we clean these outside in the tap water, outside in the creek. So you want to cut them down the middle, just like this. You want to cut them down in the cubes. Depending on how big the potato is, depending on how many cubes you got. Those are perfect cubes. Freshly picked out of the garden. That's what you want right there. You want to rip them out like this, you know, just like that. And just come over here like this and like that. So, I'm going to finish cutting these up. And when we get back to you after commercial, because, you know, we can afford those bad boys. We'll um, finish cutting up these potatoes, add some more ingredients, get ready, turn on the barbecue, and make some beautiful dishes for your mother. Peace out, homie.